Hi, boys and girls. We are in Chapter 9, Lesson 5. We are writing expressions. So our learning intention is I am learning how to write expressions so that I can successfully do harder math when I get older. While the math is still relatively easy, we're going to teach you some of these things that when I was a kid, I did not learn until I was in high school, actually. I might have learned it in junior high, but I don't remember, but I do remember learning it in high school. And if you already understand this part, then the other stuff will come more easily because you've gotten this learning out of the way. So let's move on with writing expressions. What is an expression? Well, that is our vocabulary word for this lesson. An expression is a number sentence using numbers and operation symbols. There is no equal sign. The four operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So if you have um, numbers and, uh, and at least one operation symbol, you have an expression. Once you add an equal sign and then put an answer, or not an answer, but you put what it's equal to or what it's the same as, then it is no longer an expression. It's an equation. But we're not doing equations today. We're doing expressions. So the pages we are going to be working on are pages 527, 528, and 529. So let's get this party started. Writing expressions. The four operations are, let me make this bigger so you're not confused by the other page that you see. The four operations are addition, oops, let me try that again. Finger drawing on this screen isn't very easy. Okay, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And remember, with division, you have the division sign and you have the division box. Also, the fraction bar, when, you, when we learn fractions, that is the same as a division sign as well. But we're not going to worry about that right now. So what is an expression? An expression is a number or a combination of numbers and operations. An expression does not have an equal sign. Let's look at some examples. Example one, Alice invited some friends to play in her backyard. Write an expression to represent the to Oh, we're not doing a word problem. Alice invited three friends to play in her backyard. Write an expression to represent the total number of friends. So first we're going to use pictures. So the yellow dot is Alice and her three friends are red dots. So we are going to use numbers for this one. One plus, and then we have the three friends. So we are going to put a three, one plus three. You can use words as well. You can write one plus three, or you can say three more than one. You can use a word for this. You could even write the number in there. Three more than one. Let's look at example two. Five nails were hammered in the wood one nail bent. Write an expression to represent the number of good nails left. So we're going to use pictures. So five nails were hammered. Those are our five circles right there. One nail bent, so it gets crossed out. Doesn't this look like subtraction from second grade? You know, when you cross out, or maybe you did that in first grade, where you cross out one picture and then you say how many are left. So we can use numbers. Five minus one or we can use words, five minus one or one less than five. Now notice something here. You have the words less than, and we subtracted, and up here we used, let's see, I can get them both on there at the same time. more than. More than is related to addition and less than is related to subtraction. Now we're not talking about when we compare numbers. So if you say that someone has two less apples than you and you have five, you would subtract 
five minus two is three. Okay, so that person has three apples. I think that was the right numbers. I don't know if I said the numbers right. But if you say, I have $5 and she has two more than me, five plus two is seven. So that's handy to know for word problems. That will serve you well when you have those in word problems. All righty, let's look at example three. Tracy bought th three magnets. Um, Scott has two times as many. Then Scott buys one more. I probably should have done this in a three read because it's kind of confusing. Let's try it as a three read, see if it works. Tracy bought some magnets. Scott has some times as many. Then Scott buys some more. So then, so let's put in the numbers. So Tracy bought three magnets. Scott has two times as many. Then Scott buys one more. What do we do with all this information? Tracy bought three magnets. Scott has two times as many. Then Scott buys one more. Write an expression to represent the total number of magnets Scott has. So let's look at something really quickly before we move on. I'm going to show you how you can mark up this word problem. You see the number two and then you see times. We know the symbol for times. That's going to give us a hint right there as to what operation we're going to use. Okay, then we remember one more. Remember from more or more than from our previous example? More tells us that we may need to add. So I'm going to put an addition sign there to help me remember to add one. So let's look. Tracy bought three magnets. So here are Tracy's magnets. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. But Scott has twice as many. Okay, so Scott actually... This is going to confuse you. Never mind. Let me erase that. Okay, so Tracy has three magnets. Scott has two times as many. So we can draw an array for that. So there's three groups of two because he has three times two as many, plus he bought one more. So we're going to put this in a number sentence. Now, this is not an associative property problem just because it has three numbers. Remember, it has to be three factors or three add-ends to be associative property. This is, these are not all one kind of number. If you have three factors, it means you're only multiplying. If you have three add-ins, you're only adding. But look, look at my operation symbols here. I have times and I have plus, so I can't move my parentheses. I need to multiply first, then add. So I'm going to use numbers for this. I'm going to write three groups of two, that's my array, plus one more. Okay, so then, and remember, I'm not finding the answer. I'm just writing the expression. So we can use words. Two times three plus one. Or, oops, hit my microphone. Let me move it out of the way a little bit. Or three groups of three plus one more. Okay, our helpful hint is parentheses tell you what to do first. I want you to draw one, two, three arrows at this hint for two reasons. One, to help you remember, it's super important. Parentheses tell you what to do first. And two, that's the Easter egg for my class for their extra credit points. So my class, pay attention. All right, let's go down and do some guided practice. Remember, I will explain it to you. Then you will pause the video, put in your answers, and then unpause the video, check to see if you're right. If you're not right, then you're going to fix it. Okay, so number one says Jeff had eight crayons. He lost five of them. They want you to draw a picture of it. They want you to write it in numbers. And then they want you to write the expression in numbers and then write the expression in words. So go ahead and pause your video and do those three things and restart your video and see how I did it. Okay, so 
Jeff has eight crayons. I'm going to draw eight crayons in my picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He lost five of them. So I'm going to take out five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now I can write it in numbers, which is eight minus five. Remember, no equal sign and don't tell what it is the same as. I can write it in words. I can write eight minus five. Ooh, messy with my finger. My real writing is better than this. Or I can write it this way. Um, five less than eight. Oh, that's not writing too well. Less than eight. Ah, messy, messy. Okay, so there you go. Two ways to write it in words. All right, number two, a carpenter has six nails. She went to the store to buy three more. Um, she used two nails. Okay, so they've given you a picture. She has six nails. Then she went to the store and bought three more and took, and then she used two of them. So you've got the picture. You're going to finish writing it in numbers, and then you're going to write it in words. Pause your video. Come back after you've answered. Okay, so I have six nails, bought three more, and then two went away because she used them. So that is minus two. And then I'm going to write it in words here. Six plus three minus two. There you go. Let's go on and look at independent practice. If you're not in my class and you're not supposed to watch this part, you do not need to watch it. I mean, you can watch it if you want, but my class needs to watch it so you know what I expect of you. Okay, so use numbers and operations to write each phrase as an expression. That means there's no equal sign and you're not going to have a product or a sum or anything like that. So number three, you're going to read it. And then you're going to decide what your operation symbol is and write it as an expression on the blue line. You are going to do that for <coughs> all of these. Now they introduce some new words to you. So I'm going to go over them with you. I'm going to show you how to mark it up. Let's do it that way. Okay, so more than we talked about on the other page. The more than is the same as plus. A total of five rows of six chairs. And we know total can go with addition or multiplication. But if it's five rows of six, we are going to multiply. Half of 18. If you take something and you cut it in half, you have divided by two. Half means divide by two. Three people equally divide 21. You're going to use your division symbol. The difference between 89 and 80 difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. Let me do your division sign there. And six groups with six people in each. When you see the words groups or rows, anything like that, and especially the word each, you know you are going to multiply. So there's some hints for those for you. Those of you that didn't bother to watch the video, you don't get all the hints. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so there are six nails in the toolbox. Write an expression to tell how many there will be when there are, okay, two fewer nails. So fewer, we are going to subtract. That means some went away. Hopefully not stuck in my tires. Four times as many nails. Half as many nails, remember up here what we said half was? It is divide by two. When you see half, you're going to divide by two. Ten more nails. We know that more means plus. Three equal groups. Equal groups. What did we learn? Multiply. 
Okay, then down here, write an expression for each. The cost of five bottles of glue you've hardware sale. Glue is 10 cents, tape measure is 95 cents, spool of wire is 89 cents, and nails are 10 cents. So the cost of five bottles of glue, please make sure you put your sense label on it. Okay, this has to have a sense label because you're talking about money. I'm gonna put the sense right there. The number goes in front of the sense sign. The number of nails for 90 cents. You're counting nails, you're not counting money. So there's no money symbol there. The total cost of a spool of wire, tape measure, and a bottle of glue. Since all the numbers are different, you can't multiply. So for that total, we know we need to add. Okay, that's all the clues you're going to get. And you guys do your best. And if you have any trouble, come back and watch the video. Good luck.